Hey guys, today's video is something different. Today is a very sad day, I would say, for uh, almost everybody out there. Today we lost one of the most legendary players, Kobe Bryant, and his daughter. She was just 13 years old, and they both died in a helicopter crash. It's something like a shock, yeah. Being one of Kobe's fan and like watching him play all these years, growing up, watch early morning matches in India. The matches were like 5:30 a.m. The broadcast used to happen, and we used to get up and watch how he used to play. And it is something very disheartening, and like it's a totally heartbreaking, man. It's totally heartbreaking seeing like one of the stars that you admire so much. He has passed away now. Uh, don't know exactly what to tell you guys, like how to share it with you guys. Uh, ahead, I will be showing you the videos of what all things have happened so far. People who are aware about it will be aware about it, and people who have not been aware about it, this video might be useful. They can just see how things went out and what all things has happened. And uh, I'm making it very clear from the start itself. This video is not monetized. Okay. And I, this is nothing that nobody wants to make any money out of it. This is all just out of respect. We are making this out. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. And, uh, You know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Um, he had that, that DNA that, uh, that very few athletes can ever have. You know, the, the Tiger Woods and the, the Michael Jordans, you know. Um, it's funny, I, uh, I was getting to know him more since he retired, you know. Um, Upon arrival, our firefighters discovered approximately a quarter acre brush fire that resulted from a crash on the, hill, on the hillside. Upon arrival during the incident and upon arrival of the Sheriff's Department, our two de respective departments entered into unified command to handle this incident. Um, our firefighters on scene indicated that there was a debris field and steep terrain with a quarter acre brush fire that was occurring at the time. Our firefighters hiked in to the accident site with their medical equipment and hose lines to uh, extinguish the uh, stubborn fire as it included the brush fire debris from the helicopter, and the fire also included magnesium, which is very hard for our firefighters to extinguish because uh, magnesium reacts with oxygen and water. In addition to our firefighters hiking into the incident, we had one helicopter flying to the incident with firefighter paramedics on board. Those paramedics were hoisted down to the incident early into the uh, incident. Um, they did a search of the area for survivors. Unfortunately, all the survivors on board were determined to have been perished. Um, firefighters and hand crews worked to extinguish the fire while carefully pre preserving the incident for investigation. Um, currently, the investigation is still ongoing. I would like to turn this over to my sheriff to continue the press briefing. Thank you, Chief Osby. Personnel from Los Hills Sheriff's Station responded to the scene of, of the crash site and uh, assisted the fire department. And we've established a, a containment area and now our Aero Bureau has a handle on traffic or uh, aircraft accidents. However, when there's a fatality, 
Then it switches to the National Transportation Safety Bureau, the NTSB, and the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA. The FAA is already on scene and assisting. We're waiting the arrival of the coroner's office to assist in the recovery of the remains. As the chief indicated, there were no survivors. We have a manifest that indicates that there was nine people on board the aircraft, the pilot plus eight individuals. Uh, there is uh, wide speculation as who the identities are. However, it is entirely inappropriate right now to identify anyone by name until the coroner has made the identification through their very deliberative process and they've made, made notifications to next of kin. And it'd be extremely disrespectful to understand that your loved one was perished and you learn about it from TMZ. That is just wholly inappropriate, so we're not going to be going there. We're going to wait till the coroner does their job, and we're assisting the families of those who believe they've been impacted, and it's a, it's a, it's a tough process. And our hope goes out to all of the members that were on board, all the family of everyone who was on board this aircraft, and uh, God bless their souls. This is all the NBA players basically giving tribute today. They're all are committing the 34 second violation, I would say. With respect for Kobe. Sean, how did these guys play? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, it'd be tough for me in this situation. We've been told the NBA is planning or has canceled some of the games this evening. And DeJounte Murray will do the same. 24-second shot clock, of course, Kobe Bryant. This has been going on like, throughout the day. All the matches, everyone is basically doing this. They are giving in for that 24-second violation. Hawks in red, Wizards in blue. And now, Trey is going to hang out of the basketball. And in honor of number eight, he is going to take an eight-second backcourt violation. And now the Wizards to show their honor and appreciation. Washington is going to inbound the basketball, and they will take a 24-second violation. So the two numbers that Kobe Bryant wore in his career, number eight and number 24, being honored. I remember seeing a video of LeBron James basically crying. Players and a generation of basketball fans. Gibson and Allen jump it up. And this has been happening all around the league. Every team, first possession. Everyone, everyone taking a 24 second play. shot clock violation. Just for as an homage to Kobe Bryant, number 24. And the Knicks will do the same. At the end of it, I just like to say one thing, Kobe, we already miss you. This is a shock that has happened. Most of us are trying to grasp that in, but it might take a lot of time to get in that you are no longer there. You will be always be missed and you have inspired a lot of people to play the game in all walks of life. And you are the one of the reasons that I started playing years ago. So thank you for everything and to all the people who are watching out there just remember the good times man just remember all the good times of this player like all the good things you can recall just live in the moment man i will see you guys soon bye